From a 200 kilogram explosion at an abandoned German power plant and an old shopping mall that outlived its glory days, to a farmer knocking over his old grain silo and a crane operator living out his childhood dreams. Here are 10 incredible demolitions caught on camera. On February 17th of 2019, demolition crews in Dortmund, Germany rigged the old Gustav Nepper power plant with over 200 kilograms of explosives. The 48-year-old structure ceased operations in 2014 and stood unused for five years until they finally decided to tear her down. Sirens signal the beginning of the end. The first building to crumble is the 69-meter boiling house. The bottom blows out and the structure falls forward. We hear the blast moments later, echoing through a massive cloud of dust. The 128-meter cooling tower goes down next, followed by the 210-meter chimney. The chimney snaps in half as it falls and seemingly disappears as it runs across the ground. The demolition was described as Germany's biggest bang of the year and produced over 28,000 metric tons of steel and rubble. The plan is to convert the area into an industrial park, but sometimes you don't need all those explosives to get the job done. Sometimes you just need a few strategically placed charges, like the ones used to take down this 70-meter transmitter pole on October 28th of 2018. To take this tower down effectively, the crew strapped charges to the support wires anchored in the ground. Then, like cutting down a tree, they let the transmitter's weight do the rest of the work. We see the explosives wrapped around the anchors. They almost look like weighted blankets, but you know, the exploding kind. Moments later, the charges detonate in perfect unison, sending scraps flying and the steel cables whipping toward the tower. It takes 10 full seconds for the tower to fall from when the charges explode to when it hits the ground. We're happy nobody talked during the demolition since the wobbling steel cables make an ultra-satisfying sound. But sometimes, you can't help the background noise, especially when the demolition is a public spectacle. For example, on August 12th of 2012, a crowd gathered near the Lurhof Shopping Center in Recklinghausen, Germany. The old shopping center was a holdover from the 1970s, inspired by the shopping malls of America. But trends moved forward, and the old Lurhof wasn't keeping with the times as of 2012. The Germans had a plan to build a more modern shopping center called the Palais Vest in its place. But before they broke ground, they had to tear down the old building. Like the Gustav power plant, horns alert the crowd that the show is about to begin. 
A man on a loudspeaker counts to three in German. On what we assume is go, 50 kilograms of explosives blow out the bottom left side of the tower and the structure comes crashing down. Firefighters begin spraying it with water. But why? According to Brady Hagerty, who works with the Indiana Department of Environmental Management, the water helps knock down dust. It also keeps the debris wet, making it easier to haul away. Speaking of hauling things away, why don't you show me the biggest fish you can haul with the sponsor of today's video, Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash is a mobile game that lets you explore amazing fishing spots all from the comfort of your own home. You can travel the world and fish in a bunch of different locations, whether it's from land or a boat. As you progress, you can upgrade your gear as well, such as your rods and lures, but it doesn't stop there. Every week, you can compete in online tournaments with other fishermen to see who is truly the best. Over time, you can upgrade your skills to give you a competitive edge, and if you have friends or family who might like the game, you can create a clan, or even just compete against one another. Personally, I was impressed by how realistic the graphics in the game are. If you want to show support for our channel, then check out the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. Once you download the game, be sure to use our special promo code, UNDERWORLD, which you can redeem with these three simple steps to get a reward valued at $20 for absolutely free. With this code, you'll get a unique avatar, one mythical lure card, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch even bigger fish. Let us know the heaviest fish you caught under the pinned comment below. Once again, use promo code UNDERWORLD, that's U-N-D-E-R-W-O-R-L-D, to support this channel and start fishing today. Alright, now back to the video. In the last clip, we saw them use water to keep the dust down after the building fell. Other times, though, you don't have to worry about dust, especially when the job is in the middle of nowhere. Take this mixing plant, for example. The demolition crew arrived to survey the building and determined the best way to bring her down. You can tell by the pictures that this mixing plant has rotted away over the years. In one image, you can see patterns of boreholes drilled into the concrete support column. According to how stuff works, the idea here is to stuff explosives into the holes. The blast sends powerful shockwaves through the columns at supersonic speed and shatters the pillars into tiny pieces. Let's see if it works. As planned, the concrete columns burst into a million little pieces, and the old mixing tower comes crumbling down. The impact creates a massive cloud of dust that almost reaches our stationary camera. Another angle gives us a fantastic shot of the roof falling off, like a jar whose lid wasn't closed properly falling out of the pantry. It doesn't look like this building required much boom to bring it down. The amount of explosives used obviously depends on the size and integrity. We imagine this abandoned coal mine required more careful planning and plenty of blasting material. The plan was to tear down two structures simultaneously, the tall towers on the far left and the cylindrical structure on the right. As the world does its best to move away from coal, they still need to do something about all these abandoned coal mines. Perhaps the best way to wave goodbye to the past is to rig it with explosives, set up a few cameras, and then watch it go boom. Sirens signal the imminent blast. Moments later, both buildings fall in perfect unison. It seems like something went wrong with the building on the right, though. It collapses in on itself, but never comes crumbling down. 
we get an awesome close-up shot of the smaller tower falling toward the camera as a cloud of black smoke fills most of the screen. Another shot from behind the cylindrical building shows the top caving in, and it looks like water begins spilling out the side. But old abandoned buildings aren't the only things we use explosives to bring down. Surprisingly, we've also used them to finish new and improved bridges. The Grumpenthal Bridge is a 1,100-meter railway overpass in Germany. Construction began in the mid-2000s and wrapped at the end of 2011. The arch over the water is the primary support system, and the concrete columns stretching down to the ground were just there to help build the bridge. Once builders didn't need them anymore, it was time to blow them up. A crowd gathered on November 8th of 2010 to watch the final stages unfold. We see an explosion under the middle pillar, and the sound causes our camera operator to jump. One by one, new blasts topple the remaining pillars, and they fall down into a cloud of dust. The demolition crew needed 100 kilograms of explosives to demolish 1,800 cubic meters of concrete. The shorter pillars on the ends measured 20 meters, or about 65 feet, while the tallest ones were 60 meters, or nearly 200 feet. Sometimes, controlled demolitions are a little more subtle. After all, packing too much punch can be extremely dangerous. The crew assigned to demo this 40-meter chimney knew they didn't need much to bring it down. They gutted the inside and drilled boreholes for an ultra-precise explosion. Then, on August 26th of 2020, they packed those boreholes with dynamite and moved a safe distance away. This demo job is a shining example of using just enough. It looks like nothing's happening at first, but then the tower starts to fall. It's a long, 10-second plummet to the ground, but the chimney eventually lands with a solid thump. A close-up angle shows us the small explosion and how workers used the perfect amount to topple the tower. Some controlled demolitions don't require explosives at all. Sometimes, all you need is a little push. In La Harpe, Illinois, a small town on the Missouri border, some farmers thought it was time to tear down their old harvest store silo. It had stood in the family since 1977, becoming a landmark for the 1,200-person town. A windstorm in the 90s dented the tower, rendering it useless. It stood until March 3rd of 2021, when the farmers decided it was time to say goodbye. They moved their backhoe into position and let gravity do the rest. The backhoe moves away as the tower begins to fall, and it only takes about seven seconds for gravity to pull it down. The silo flattens like a pancake when it hits the ground and spurs excitement among the crowd. From another angle, we see one farmer pretending to push it over with his finger. Our next demolition takes us back to Magdeburg, Germany, where a team needed pinpoint precision to take down an old crane runway. 
Sometimes you need to build one thing to build another, like scaffolding up the side of a building. Crane runways are in a similar boat, allowing workers to use overhead cranes to complete whatever job they need. But these runways eventually outlive their usefulness. When that day comes, it's up to skilled demolition experts to take them down. They either rigged the runway with eight charges or pre-cut some portions of the steel while rigging the others. Either way, their precise work pays off once they hit the detonator. The charges blow and the runway falls perfectly to the ground. It doesn't lean, it doesn't crumble, it just lands with a solid thud. Crane runways like this are made out of building steel, which is why it looks like the skeleton of a future building. Hopefully, they were able to recycle that steel into something else. Finally, some demolitions aren't as neat and clean as the ones we've seen so far. Take this power plant, for example. Instead of rigging the entire thing to blow, demolition crews used an excavator fitted with a giant jackhammer. Now, that jackhammer is technically called a breaker, and demo crews use them when blasting isn't possible due to safety or environmental issues. Now, we can't say why they didn't blow up this old power plant, but we assume the crane operator is having the time of his life. He must feel like a kid again, crashing his toy trucks into building blocks. First, our demo worker uses a claw attachment to try and pull the building apart. He latches onto the concrete exterior, but nothing seems to budge. Then they switch to the breaker and things get much easier. After a few dozen pokes, the wall crumbles into a massive cloud of dust. There's something almost alien-like about the arm as it goes back to work, like something out of War of the Worlds. We especially like when it pokes the tile wall and then whacks it overhead. Now before we go, we just want to remind you to check out our sponsor, Fishing Clash, in the description below. If you download and use our code UNDERWORLD, it helps us out, and it's completely free for you. Otherwise, click the link on screen now to check out another video just like this one. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.